I've already pre-shuffled and I'll be using two oracle cards for your recent past. Then I'll go through the present time, how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why this is all happening. So, Virgo, in the recent past, we have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And it's paired with valor. On the flip side of valor, it reads, Be courageous. The unmistakable touch of grace will follow us wherever we go. So in the recent past, there was probably a need for you to heal some family issues. And if it wasn't family, maybe uh, heal some issues with another connection or a person that you were involved with. And um, everyone would have benefited as you forgive or as you ask for forgiveness. But being that it's with valor, it would have took a lot of courage. Uh, we all know that asking for forgiveness is not easy. And forgiving is not easy either. A lot of times, especially if the the wounds are so deep. The cut is really deep. It's not always easy. So you need it. courage. So that's what valor is about, being courageous. It takes a lot of courage to come in and um, forgive or ask for forgiveness. So it would have brought about grace. It would have enhanced the relationship, enhanced the connection. Uh, we all know it's important to just own up to your mistakes, but a lot of people can't do it. A lot of people just choose to say, hey, it wasn't me. You know that song by Shaggy? You saw me standing on the corner? <laughs> it wasn't me. It's just easier just to just lie and say, it wasn't me. But anyway, in the recent past, there was some um, healing issues that needed to take place. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So it could have been with your parents or with someone else. And it would have took a lot of courage. That's what valor is about. But you would have benefited in, lo in the long run if you could have just be courageous and go ahead and ask for the forgiveness instead of saying it wasn't me. Yeah, it would have been beneficial to everyone involved. That's in the recent past, healing some issues. So, Virgo, let's move on down and take a look at the present time. We have the Page of Swords, and it's paired with the Hangman. So the Page of Swords, it can sometimes stand for actual person in your life. If this is, a, if this is the case, the Page is about some, someone younger, someone younger than you. It's about a message coming in. It may not be what you're hoping to hear, though. The page, it, it tells us that uh, you could be trying too hard or pushing too fast or stepping on the toes of others. Or this could be the person that's coming in with the message. You may need to study the body language of others and consider how well you do or do not accept co constructive criticism at this time. You're likely to have a great deal of mental and physical energy now, so use it wisely. This page of swords, is when it talks about love and relationships, it's about mild conflict. You have to know when to push and when to back off. Many fights and discussions, they are not actually worth having, as long as your partner is treating you with respect. So allow your partner to have his, her own space. This is going to be crucial for happiness at this time. If you are single, Virgos, get out there and socialize because we all know that love, it just does not drop out of the sky. The Page of Swords is paired with the Hangman. Now the Hangman is about being at a crossroads. It could be one with only two options, such as in or out, up or down, yes or no. 
You can also find yourself very much wanting to do something but having no idea what it is or how to do it. Keep in mind, if that does happen in February, it's going to be a clear sign that you need to stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life situations, people, things. It's possible that there's an outdated attitude or a wish that you need to let go of. Any sacrifice that you make at this time, it's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you're letting go of. All in all, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time, particularly if you're willing to look at it. Well, if you're willing to look at if or how, you might serve your own interests by being willing to change. And when you're asking about love and relationships and you get the hangman, it's about letting go, letting go of, a, of an a unattainable lover, for example. It will bring about the possibility that someone that can be with you will be there for you. But that's only one example. You may need to let go of a particular vision of a particular kind of relationship as being the only way that you can be happy. If you are already in a relationship, a long-term relationship, or just a relationship, that relationship could be at a crossroads also. So if, you, if you're thinking your relationship is fabulous and great, be sure to find out where your partner's head is. Find out what he's thinking. Find out the state of affairs. Or find out the state of the connection. So, for your present time, Page of Swords and Hangman. Uh, someone's coming in with a message. It's probably not what you want to hear. It's from a, a younger, probably immature source. So, it could cause some conflict. Could cause some conflict because it's not what you want to hear. And... Um, Who knows if, it, if it's even true, because it's from someone, you're probably, like I said, a much younger, a younger person. The page is about youth. So, whatever this message that's coming in, it's going to cause you to feel like you're at a crossroads. It's going to cause you to feel like, should I do this, should I do that? Yeah, and then it's going to cause you to let something go. You could let go of this person that gave you this, this message that you don't want to hear. So you could be letting go. You could walk away or let go of a connection, the person that you're dealing with. Because, yeah, whatever message that's coming in is going to cause some conflict. Also, keep in mind, you just may need to let go of a, of a situation or a particular idea that you have as being the only way to, that it can be done. And just do it a different way. Let go, just let go of an idea, not, actual, not actually letting go of an other person. But let go of an outdated attitude. You could also be doing that for February, too. And it's, like I said, it's going to have something to do with this message that you're not really trying to hear. So that's what we have for the present time. Now let's move on over and take a look at the person that you're dealing with. How they see you. How they view this connection. We have a star card and the four of cups. Now the star card, you could find yourself feeling real inspired and more hopeful about the future than you have in a while. Uh, you're confident that your needs, they'll be met, whether they're emotional or financial needs, or both. They'll be met at this time. Keep in mind, nothing can be taken for granted. But it's unlikely with the star card that your confidence is misplaced. It's also a spiritual card. You could find yourself feeling it feeling um, at one with all of creation and 
just know that that's not a common feeling. It's not very common that people feel that way. So make sure you savor it. And when you're talking about love or asking questions about relationships and you get the star card, it's a really excellent time to meet someone new if you're in the market for a new relationship. Although it's not impossible that love could simply come knocking at your door. It's not impossible as a star. But it's more likely that you'll need to get out there and mingle. Because a new relationship could happen at any time, so don't, don't turn down invitations at this time, Virgo. If you're already in love and committed, then your relationship could move to a new level. One that's not only higher, but more fulfilling. Make the most out of this opportunity and build on it. So, you see your person as having a lot of faith about this connection, being very hopeful about this connection. You see, well, you see them as seeing you, how they see you, and that's how they see you. I'm sorry, I hope I'm not confusing you with they see you, you see them. I'm going to say it again. The person you're dealing with, they see you as rejuvenated, hopeful, and having a lot of faith about this connection. They see you as really inspired about the connection. Hopeful about the future for this connection. That's how they see you. They see you as having a lot of faith, okay? About the connection. Now, it's with the Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups is about wishful thinking. It remembers to pay attention to what's now and count your blessings. All right, don't spend too much time in self-pity and wishing your life away. Because a lot of life has to do with where we put our focus. All right, so they see you as, like I said, hopeful. Uh, you have a lot of faith in this connection as a star. But it's paired with the Four of Cups. They also see you as... You're not spending your time wishing your life away about this connection and that uh, they see you as as um, trying to focus on counting your blessings of the connection um, they see they try to see you they're seeing you they, they're seeing you as um, trying to make sure that you're being realistic in regards to this connection. So, they see you as trying not to worry too much about what could be, but like I said, trying to count your blessings about this connection. So, they see you as wishful, being wishful about the connection. Maybe they see you as praying a lot of, about this connection. You see how this man is on the ground and looks like he's meditating. So it's not bad. They star card. They see you as hopeful about it and, you know, try not to just wish. Maybe you're counting your blessings about the connection. So once again, that's how they see you. Now let's move on to how you see them. You see them as the Page of Wands and the Nine of Wands. Now, the, the Page of Wands is uh, ambitious and warm achievers, warm people with a lot of ambition and high achievers, put it that way. That's what it's about. And if this is not a person, uh, when you get the Page of Wands, if it's not someone you're dealing with, the Page of Wands is, a, is about energy of easy distraction, being easily distracted. So you need to try to stay focused. This card, um, it could be about things that you started some time ago. Uh, that are start, they're starting to come to life, to fruition. It shows a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas, 
The page brings a lot of positive energy, but we have to supply the follow-through. You have to do that, however. When you're asking about love and relationships, messages of love and affection, they're likely coming in. If you're single, Virgos, and um, you're looking, a new suitor, a new prospect, one with whom you have a whole lot in common with, and who is very adventuresome, they could be about to burst into your world at this time. You might want to take a chance on them, but only if you're up truly available. If you're committed and unhappy, now is the time to begin to decide if the relationship can be saved and how long you're trying to make it happen. Both parties have to be willing to work in a relationship. If your partner is not, it could be time to move on. Now that's with the Page of Wands. So you see your person as trying to stay focused on the connection. You see them as ambitious. Uh, they, they really want to achieve the connection, but they they have a lot of easy distractions, or they're easily distracted. But uh, you see them as wanting to continue to the to explore the possibility of the relationship with this page of wands. So they could be um, they could be um, sending you love notes, love messages. That's what the page of wands does also, or yeah, you see them as extending an olive branch to the connection. So you see them as, like I said, wanting to continue. and um, But they just need to stay a little bit more focused on the connection. It's paired with this Nine of Wands. Now the Nine of, well, nine of Wands... It's important to remember that no relationship can stand up to constant dissecting, picking apart. So you need to try to give your lover some breathing space. And if you're uncommitted and looking for a relationship and you're single and you get this nine of wands, uh, just understand that now is probably not the right time. There's probably some things about yourself that you'd like to change. This would be a good time for you to get yourself whole. Get yourself whole emotionally so that when you are ready for a new relationship, that the person you attract into your life is also whole. So don't be in too much of a hurry at this time with this Nine of Wands if you're single. So back to how you see them, like I said, you see them as wanting to continue to explore the possibilities in this connection, but they also need to stay focused. And being that it's with this Nine of Wands, you also see them as worried about this connection, uh, having some stress about this connection. Uh, you see them as being burdened and they are keyed up over some concerns about the connection. Yeah, because you see that in the picture of the card, this man is, he's, I have all these wands around him, and it looks like he's ready to go to battle, but there's no one around. There's really no one to fight. So you see them as, that's how you see them in this connection. They need to stay focused. But they want to continue to, they want to continue with it, the relationship. They want to continue with it. Need to stay focused and you see them as needing to um, probably find out a way to not be so stressed out and worried about the connection or whatever. Maybe they're stressed out and worried about something else that um, could be causing some strain on the connection. So that's how you see them. Let's move on to why it's all happening. We have the Five of Wands and then we have the Eight of Swords. Now the Five of Wands is about it's about uh, com competition. Okay, it could be work or career, but it could go either way. It could be a romantic 
rival. Don't be afraid of competing. Know that you have something to offer. You can be successful too, but you have to try. You have to try to see results. So when you get the five of wands, your need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever at this time. So hold your head up high. Have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. You may be thinking of a career change. Just know that you can be successful too. And when it talks about love and relationships, this five of wands, the person that you have your eye on, they could be being pursued by several people. If this is the case, give it your best shot. You need to know that you've done all that you can for this relationship where your heart is involved. This can also work the other way around, meaning, meaning that you're going to be pursued by several interested people romantically. So it's all happening because there's some competition in this connection. Uh, possibly a, some romantic rivals. So it could be causing uh, you or your person to probably have some, some self-esteem issues. Yeah, so... You or your person is probably being pursued by several people and it's causing some issues. It's causing a struggle in the connection and you two probably don't see eye to eye sometimes because of this competition. So it could be challenging. The connection feels challenging at times. And being that it's paired with the Eight of Swords, now, the Eight of Swords is about a need to reevaluate a relationship. You could be sticking with someone that's actually bad for you, since you're figuring it's better than nothing. If this is the case, you need to rethink that. Because being in, being in an unhealthy relationship is much worse than being alone. If you're looking for love, first look at how well you love yourself. Because someone else cannot come along. Someone else cannot come along and fix you, so start where you are. So, like I said, you've got it's happening because you got this competition. Uh, someone is being pursued by many people, or they're possibly uh, I don't know if they're dating other people, but it's about having other people um, in the mix. There's other people, so there's a struggle in this connection. Um, because it's paired with the Eight of Swords, uh, it's happening because there's a fear of moving this connection into the future. Because somebody's afraid of getting hurt. So it seems like they're keeping, someone's keeping their options open with all this competition, and it's because of fear. They fear getting hurt by this connection. So yeah, somebody's in, somebody's stuck in their head. Yeah, somebody's stuck in their head about this connection. And so it looks like somebody's keeping their options open with probably other choices because you've got this competitive situation going on with the five of wands yeah somebody's scared you it could be you your person or it could be the both of you so that's why it's all happening virgos i hope you enjoyed this reading i have a link below of the extended of this reading i'll go over how you both feel about the situation what's in the near future for the two of you how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. If I don't get a chance to do the extended, I'll have a link for personal readings. I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'm hoping that you enjoy 2020. I hope that you... Uh, are having a great day and I'm wishing you a wonderful February. Thank you so very much for watching.